Today we're going to be taking a look at just how easy it is to implement Radrich Textbox with the built-in wizards. Radrich Textbox is part of the Telerik RAG Controls for Silverlight and RAG Controls for WPF Control Suites for .NET development. Radrich Textbox provides Microsoft Word-like functionality and features within your Silverlight and WPF applications, but there are a lot of options and a lot of things that you would otherwise have to configure to get this control working. Moving beyond the auto-populating ribbon UI that we've created, we've gone one step further and added a new built-in wizard that lets you configure quickly and easily all the settings that you want for Ravage Textbox. So let's see just how easy it is to get this started in your Silverlight application. I'm here in Visual Studio and I have a brand new project. The only thing I've done so far is go through the Telerik Visual Studio extensions to add the assemblies that we need for Ravage Textbox. Otherwise, everything else is going to be drag and drop and clicking some configurations. Going into the toolbox, we can see Ravage Textbox under the Silverlight Q1 2011 SP1 header. So we're going to drag and drop this onto our design surface, and then the wizard begins. Here we have the option for exactly how we want this to be configured, and we want the full word processing experience, so we'll click Word Processor, click Next. Now we have the option for what layout we'd like. We can go Page, Flow, Flow with no wrap, so different options we're already familiar with from Word. We can also choose to add the ruler and the status bar, just so we have some easy UI elements to handle how we interact with our page. We're also going to configure what kind of formats we want to be able to export and import from. In this case, we don't really know what we're going to want to be working with, so we'll keep them all. Click Next once again. Now we have the option to choose what we want on those ribbon tabs. Remember, like I said, we used to just populate the ribbon for you from a handy Visual Studio context menu item, but now we want to give you that option depending on what features you may or may not want. In this case, I want everything on the home, insert, page layout, view, scrolling down, table, and review tab. So I want everything like spell checking, tables, pictures, hyperlinks, pretty much all those features that you use every day in Word to be included in my project. Click next once again. Now we have some final settings. If I want to enable spell checking, I can make this read only for just a document viewer. Want to enable selection, context menu, selection mini toolbar, all these great things that we've built for you so you don't have to worry about them. Go ahead and click finish. Now Visual Studio is letting us know it's generating this Radvish text box. So it's going to put everything in a nice container, lay out all the items that we need, and generate all things like icons, commands, bindings, pretty much everything you need to get up and get started with the Radvish text box. Looking at our design surface, we can see everything has been generated. We have a lot of different items here, all the different ribbon tabs, the rich text box, the ruler. We scroll down, we may be able to see the status bar. Now it gets kind of cut off by the Visual Studio designer right now. But we'll just go ahead and run this because that's what we're actually going for here. So click start. I'm going to compile, launch Internet Explorer. Now we're going to see this control in action. So Internet Explorer is all fired up and you can see the default implementation we give gives a fixed height. And that's why it's actually limited on the top and the bottom. So if you're going for the full drag and drop experience, adding it to your applications, you probably want to fix that one little item before you go ahead and deploy and start running this. Otherwise, we have all of our functionality. We can go over to the View tab. We want web or print layout, choose page layout. Let's give ourselves some margins, normal margin. Sounds good. A home, and we can start typing. We have all that same functionality, all the features. If we go up to our ribbon, we can see the save as options. We have the fact that we can do Silverlight HTML with print preview, as well as fun things like on our review tab, we have the ability to do comments, we have spell checking, all built in. And all you had to do was step through a four-page wizard to get this all working. So I hope you can see how easy it is to actually get started with Ravage Textbox for Silverlight and WPF with the built-in wizard system, and how quickly you can add this really fully featured text editing solution to your Silverlight and WPF applications today. Stay tuned for more videos showing off features and functionality of the Telerik RAG controls for Silverlight and WPF.